ಅದೇ Beloved, I greet you all in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Today's message is entitled The 23rd Psalm. The 23rd Psalm, Psalm 23. Let us pray. Father God, we thank you for your word that does not come to you void, but accomplishes its purpose. And as we have come in your presence, let the Holy Spirit take absolute control of everything. Let the Holy Spirit take absolute control of your word so that at the end of it all, we will have cause to glorify your holy name. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Son. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Amen. The 23rd Psalm. The Lord is my shepherd, and I shall not want. He doesn't leave me dry and high. He opens up a private food for my soul. Beloved soul, means a little part of God, which has the ability to be compassionate, sympathetic, considerate, and empathetic. So if you are interested in only yourself, then you have lost your soul. Amen. The shepherd, supplies all our needs in the presence of our enemies. He provides for us here in the world. It is wilderness food, the manner of his promise and water out of the rock. We eat it as the Israelites did in his staff in hand and ready to march on. Beloved, when all seems lost and you feel like all hope is gone, the Holy Spirit is telling us not to worry and not to be in a hurry because the Lord God Almighty is by our side. You are a child of the king and lack nothing. Don't be a pitiful Christian. When we sit at the table with the Lord, let us brush aside any worldly thoughts because the Lord himself has prepared the table and let us meditate on the west. Thou prepares a table before me. The Lord prepares it. It is his, but it is for us. And it is, and it is written, as often as he eat this bread and drink of this cup, he do show the Lord's death till he comes. And we can read about that in 1 Corinthians, verse 11. 1 Corinthians, chapter 11, verse 26, sorry. I believe this message to be one of the best known passages in the Bible. It has been whispered by more people in trouble. It's been quoted by more people on sick bed and been recited by more dying lips. Only a shepherd who write Psalm 23. And David was a shepherd. The Lord is my shepherd. The Lord is the shepherd of his people. And we are his sheep. 
So David said, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. David knew the shepherd's attitude and how the sheep depended on the shepherd. They know his voice and follow him. So the sheep in this beautiful psalm are those who follow the shepherd, our Lord Jesus Christ. John said in John 10, verse 27, my sheep hear my voice and I know them and they follow me. This psalm also talks about the testimony of God and his goodness. If the Lord's goodness means anything to you, let the saints of the Lord say so. It was grace that brought me thus far, and grace will lead me home. I believe David altered this psalm out of his life experience. At the time, he was the king of Israel and might have been thinking of how he had ascended the throne and those things that had brought him over. He had ambassadors brought before him. He had many skeptics before him and might have wondered if it was his contacts, money, skill, political maneuvers that had put him on the throne. No, sir, he might have thought. Through many at all, I have already come, he might have said. It was grace that brought me this far and grace that will lead me home. Yes. Beloved, we all know how God saved David from the Philistine giant Goliath and how the women of Israel sang his praises that Saul has slain his thousands and David his 10,000. And how Saul in his jealousy pursued David and how God saved David from Saul. But the day is coming when the good shepherd will call us to the great supper in his kingdom. Then we shall lay aside the pilgrim's dress and the sword, and we shall put on the royal robe and sit with him. All the enemies will be gone forever. And, and sit at the right hand of the Lord. We shall hunger no more, neither test anymore. Neither shall the sun light on us, nor heat burn us. For the lamb which is in the midst of the throne shall feed us and shall lead us into living fountain of waters. And God shall wipe away all tears from our eyes. In Matthew 26, verse 6 to 7, the woman poured the box of precious anointed oil up the head of our Lord, a custom which the host herself had shamefully neglected. So too, the very sheep of the Lord's pasture are to be oil anointed guests. My cup ran it over. God's blessings here and hereafter is more than we can receive. Goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives as the Asian shepherd led his sheep his two shepherd dogs guided the rear to keep 
straying sheep in the path of the sheep and draw attention to the wounded and lost. So through life, like two angels of God, goodness and mercy will follow us and encamp and round about us. Then we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Beloved, every time we get afraid because of the highways and the byways of life, let us have in mind that the Lord is beside us and is also leading us. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Beloved,